Did he ever talk about what his Jewish identity meant to him? Well, I think if we speak about that, we have to speak about Holocaust. Because we spoke about his background and Kultur League and but in nineteen forty one in June or May, he was visiting his parents uh, in Berdichev. And they uh, were planning his return home to Berdichev and uh, what the future might be. Um, and a week later, so he was visiting, I think he came on vacation. It was his last year of uh, academy school, just before thesis were to begin. He came back to visit his um, parents. And two weeks later, June 22, the war began. And he was immediately um, sent an order to return to Leningrad. Because as a student, he had to basically uh, be at the, um, he had to report and enjoy the defense and preparation for the defense of Leningrad. And so this, uh, and he, I think, wanted to bring the parents. Uh, perhaps it was not possible. But his mother assured him that nothing will happen to them. Because who would bother with old people, as she would say. Um, so he left. Um, they remained in Berdichev. Berdichev fell. Um, at the end of July, um, all the Jews were rounded up in the ghetto. And as we know, in um, September 41, they were all murdered. Uh, that was actually one of the first massacres that preceded Babi Yar. And it was almost a test ground for the Nazis to kill uh, massive uh, numbers of people. Um, and their historical records vary between 12,000 to 30,000 uh, people majority of them Jews. Limbersky at the time was um, in Leningrad. The Nazis um, surrounded the city. There was, uh, in September, uh, all the food uh, sources were burned, and there was a siege of Leningrad, which took life of about a million people in Leningrad. So he was there, so was my grandmother. They lived through all the horror, and they survived. And all the time, as they were struggling for their own life, I think, Part of him knew that his parents probably were gone. And that was a major, major, uh, that is the defining, I think, part of him, is that crisis of being a survivor and also living with the guilt of having lost his parents. Um, at, towards the end of the war, he started to do research and look. They start, he started to look through his, for his parents through Red Cross, and there was always an answer that no information. Um, so there was never confirmation that they are dead. Um, there was never admission that they were killed in this mass, buried in this mass grave. Uh, Soviet Union did not want to promote it, uh, this knowledge. Um, and at the end of the war, he started to work on his uh, three paintings, on, on, the, on the theme, on, on the paintings, uh, which we know now as uh, Execution by B.R. So these paintings were created, I think a couple of them, one of them is in the exhibition. And he created uh, two of them in the 40s, and the last one was 52. 52 is a very important uh, year for in Russian history, because that was the year when um, this notorious doctor's plot when Stalin um, was preparing to uh, to exile the Jews from uh, major centers and um, it was just a vicious campaign and many incarcerations and Jews were taken out uh, and sent to the labor camps. Um, doctor's plot was uh, the time when Several Jewish doctors were accused of poisoning the Soviet leaders, party leaders. And so at that time, to create a painting with Jewish theme, uh, execution by Bayar took extraordinary, extraordinary courage. And Limbersky did. This was his last uh, by Bayar painting. But he didn't do, he didn't do by Bayar paintings because he wanted to be courageous. He did it because this pain, this loss, uh, the pain for his parents and also for all his people lived with him 
all this life, so he could not not do it. That Bobby Yar is just really iconic image and uh, iconic name uh, for Russia, for the Soviet Union um, massacre, Jewish massacres. He was familiar with uh, Bobby Yar and having lived in Kiev, so he uh, was painting um, places that he known and seen and remembered. Um, I don't know if he was painting this by BR, uh, specifically Kiev site. I think he really was painting a collective um, image. But in his later by BR paintings, he eliminated all the specifics um, of Holocaust. And really for his, I think his main interest and main focus of these paintings are the people. The people that he knew, the people who perished or survived or witnessed of whether it's a place or what happened there, were there in the background, but he just wanted to see and to show and to be with these people, with his parents, with people he knew in these last moments, and almost bring serenity, peace, and kind of reconciliation, if it's possible, um, in these paintings. I think that for him to paint Berdichev and paint specifically his parents probably would be impossible. It would be just too painful. An art historian visiting and looking at um, the work, and she said interesting thing. She said that all the faces are not very specific. It is as if um, he paints them through a lens, like a wax or Vaseline lens, that they're a little bit blurred. And maybe this is part of um, him just having, needing to be with them, but also separating, just have a layer of separation, just so that it doesn't make it impossible to leave. <laughs>